I'm so annoyed by this uh, jury that has given eight hundred thousand dollars to oh. that uh, little girl and the mom <laughs> with the the hot chicken nugget. Yeah, they were asking for fifteen million. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh my god! Give me I'm, a break. I'm not really yeah. familiar with this. So yeah, mm-hmm. so they uh, they say the little girl got second degree burns when a hot chicken nugget fell on her leg as the mother pulled away from the drive through at McDonald's. Okay. She was four years old. Four years old when this happened. It's 2019, and uh, like Greg mentioned, they were <laughs> we're just looking for 15 million in damages. But uh, oh, well, you got to aim high and then meet in the middle. So they uh, <laughs> the jury they gave 400 thousand in damages for the past four years and another 400 thousand quote for the future. Uh, okay. Okay. Does she court, can't ever work or? The, exist yeah right the mcdonald's lawyers they pointed out that the little girl and the mom they still go to mcdonald's on a regular basis and order chicken nuggets in the drive through <laughs> they also claim that the little girl is not bothered by the injury anymore it's only her mom who won't let it go she doesn't even remember it no of course not I, but here's here's the thing and, and part of the 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 argument from you know the mom and the little girl side is that they weren't properly warned there was no posted warning oh, wait, you ordered something warning. fried Get a, right. get a warning about that? You ordered a fried item. How do you think right. they fry something? In, it's in ice, apparently. hot oil. <laughs> I think they would, they would I, argue. I prefer. Like, when I go to the McDonald's, it, dude, if they give me piping hot nuggets and fries, fries. fresh, yeah. like they just pulled them out of the fryer, I'm psyched. Love it. Are you immediately eating them? Or are you waiting for you them to take cool? You might have to wait a second. But here's the thing. You're pulling away. She dropped one on her lap. Because now you know, you know what's going to be now. Now they're going to, they're going to. This is where it's leading. They're going to, you're going to go to whatever the restaurant is. They're going to fry something. They're going to wait till it's almost room temperature, and then they're going to serve it to you. It'd be like just because hey. they don't want to get sued. Well, McDonald's already said that they're changing, like how they're doing the nuggets because of See? this. And that might be it. Because the last couple times I've had nuggets, and I mean like I've grabbed one, not long after pulling away from the drive-through because I was eating on the run. Mm-hmm. And, Road snack. Uh, yeah, and they yeah. were, and I was gonna. They had not stale, but you know what I mean. Like Room I, temp. you could tell they've been sitting for a while. Mm. As and a McDonald's alumnus, started. as you are, because you <laughs> used to work there. Sure. Like could you ago. eat a McNugget right out of the right when it's fresh? I mean, is it really that hot? Oh, well, you it's, couldn't eat it right out you know of the fryer. Why. Yeah, no but by the time you you know put it yeah. in the container and whatnot, by the time you shake the basket, dump it in the thing, put them into the uh, McNugget container, hand it to the person. It, it you, should be fine, right? Yeah, yeah, you should be. You should. Well, be I mean, fine. the girl. If you see the photo, the girl's burn. It was okay. A burn. So maybe sure. there was some oil that was. Was I don't she know, naked when she was under it? Yeah, probably had like shorts or something on. But yeah, just it's just so. It's McBullish, is what it is. Uh oh. What do you think should have happened in this situation? Uh, oh man, that sucks, That's, man. Yeah, here's a coupon. <laughs> well, not, not, not even that. I, I don't. I don't put the responsibility on McDonald's. I think once they hand you your food. If you spill it on yourself or yeah, whatever, exactly. that's on you. You order it again, something that is fried that comes out of the fryer, and I'm sure you'd bitch if it was cold, but now it's too hot. And, uh, I mean, this isn't the first time guy. they've gone through it. The, yeah, right, the coffee lady. The coffee lady. Yeah. Also yeah. bullish. Yeah. Although you watch that documentary, they make a really strong case for why it's not bullish, oh. that uh, that coffee situation. I will not from, be swayed. Were you swayed, Woody? No. <laughs> no, just like you, you, people. But it also, gave you something to think about. People like, are so dumb. You have to put warnings on literally everything now. Yep. Like you got to say close. Like you watch a car commercial and they're mm-hmm. jumping over the Grand Canyon and the Dodge, whatever it is, and they go close course. Professional driver, do not attempt. Really? They show that no when kidding. the car is just driving down the street. Well, yeah, here, right, right. So, but if someone hands you something that's supposed to be edible, uh huh, that's not mm-hmm. a s- sizzling tray of fajitas, obviously, <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> like you should assume I should be able to eat right. this. Like if you hand me something, I should be able to eat this, right? No, but like, Immediately. Don't, but don't you sit there and you kind of like you know if you get coffee from Starbucks and or it's whatever, usually pretty damn doesn't hot. Doesn't everybody take like a like a test sip almost, like yeah. just to see? Just yeah, you don't take a gulp. Yeah, you just don't go. Chug, chug, right. chug, chug. <laughs> I agree, but yeah. I, I got a like four year old. Just a little and... common sense. Mm-hmm. Right, but you have to keep it at a regulation temperature. The coffee at McDonald's was up too high to make it smell more so that more people would buy it, like smell it and want to buy it. Cool. And that's how they got burns all <laughs> I over love the themselves. Smell of coffee. <laughs> right, yeah, but that's if how you that had... person was burned and you shouldn't get third degree burns For... all over your lap. Well, don't be such a klutz, coffee. you know? <laughs> yeah. Stop being a clumsy old yeah, bitch, you know? <laughs> Hold the cup better. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, legally speaking, clumsy yeah, legal, old bitch. Legally speaking. Yeah. Yeah.
Dumbass. Uh, question on the text here, 562, completely unrelated. Uh, whatever happened to those fertilized eggs? Well, I'm glad you asked oh. because, uh, like we mentioned, uh, we are doing another another round of let's get chicks. Mm-hmm. We had those eggs that we tried this whole experiment because that woman on TikTok, uh, TikTok tried Lied to claim it. that liar that she went to Trader Joe's. Got the fertile eggs. Fertile eggs. And out of the dozen that she bought out of the refrigerator at Trader Joe's, she said that eight out of the 12 uh, hatched yeah. into chicks and that the other ones at least had some type of development, development but just weren't there. able to go to full term. Yeah. So now, it just went, so happens, just so happens, she also already raised backyard chickens, so she already had her own fertile, uh, fertile eggs. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. And so she kind of already had all the equipment and could have easily swapped out re- re- eggs. Easily. For, yeah, so we uh, we went out and we had bought the uh, the incubator, the whole thing that turns them, and we mm-hmm. we bought the Rolls Royce of incubators here. It's got a of home yeah, incubator. It's, nice. it's yeah. digital. It's got a picture of a chick on it. Yeah, it's really really flashlight. <laughs> it's really nice. flashlight. It's a self-turning. I don't have to go yeah. in there and turn them every day. It's Bruh. super sweet and available on Amazon. Uh, just in case you want one of your very own, mm-hmm. and so now we've uh, we've gone to the second uh, phase of this experiment, and now you've gotten these eggs from is this like a like a local farm local or far- up, up, you order uh, them? out near your house, Woody? Actually, yeah, but you can if you want to do this at home, you can order your own fertile eggs. I was actually talking to the lady when I picked them up, <laughs> and this is a real like legit mom and pop organization. Because like she had a note on her door, but baby's asleep. Don't, don't ring doorbell. <laughs> and she said, "Yeah, up to like." My four wife t- has one of those on our door for when I'm napping oh. after work. Cookie. Yes. Nice. I know it's pretty fun. That's so sweet. sweet. How nice. See Aww. more things that uh, you know, like a parallel universe to a child. How does that work <laughs> yeah. at your household? What do you mean? Does, do people pay attention to the? Yeah. yeah. Like so, like if there's a delivery, or whatever, they won't ring the doorbell. What does the note say? It says, yeah. uh, "Do not ring or knock." Thanks. Oh, that's it. Cookie's asleep yeah. upstairs. Yeah, <laughs> she has like a little post-it note just hanging up on oh, the uh, on the ring doorbell. Note. Cookie yeah. is sweeping. Yeah, so, so yeah. sweepy. So she said they could last <laughs> up to fourteen days just sitting around, and that, that's been confirmed. I looked up just you know some sciences. They say yeah. So once so you can get these by a mail if you want to do this at home, and it's not going to be bad for them. Uh, as opposed to sitting in the grocery cooler, right, yeah. right, right, <laughs> Trader Joe's right. for however long at yeah. Trader Joe's, <laughs> and these are right. uh, literally farm fresh. They were laid yesterday. Ooh, wow! I've got five eggs over there. That's all she had. Nice. Uh, some of them got like hair and grass and little feathers on them, so they look legit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to allow you guys oh, babe. to put your own names on them. Oh, you use your oh, name. Nice. Write your little name and a Sharpie on it. See who does the best. And that won't affect it at all, right? I mean, I, as far as I would The dye not. wouldn't leak into it? I don't know. Yeah, like. No, I think people do that all the time. They no, write yeah, on the eggs. Yeah. Okay, yeah. just making sure. If your chick comes out with a, a streak like a of tattoo, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. a blue yeah, mohawk, yeah, an addiction to sharpie, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we'll get them started, and it should be twenty-one days later. Wow, okay. little baby Whoa. chicks. No, so it's when we got ten more days here, right? Mm-hmm. When can we do the gender do, reveal? Doing the math. Oh uh, yeah, you have to like you have to wait till they get born, and you once stick they're born, <laughs> September eleventh. Yeah, how to? I bet you. you I know. I'm sorry. To August eleventh. Sex, sex a your chicken. chicken. <laughs> Mm. All right. right. Trained professionals follow this process. Oh, they call it. This is hot. They call it vent sexing. Oh, vent sexing. All right. Chick is turned upside down. Fecal mat material is expelled. (laughs) Hell yeah, fecal. The vent area is turned outward in the process. Noise. The observer looks for the presence or absence of rudimentary male sex organs to determine if it's male or female. Okay. Okay. Let's see what that looks like first. Can't we just show up pictures of naked chicks? Yeah. See if they get horny. (laughs) Yeah. If it gets all horny. (laughs) <laughs> all right. Yeah, so you're in charge of that. Okay. Mm. I'm down. Right, look so for a we'll, little chicken wiener. We'll keep you updated <laughs> so we should see something in like, you know, a few weeks. I'm right. Well we'll, 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 we'll know within a few because remember we tried last time that you do the whole oh, candle right. We're gonna right. candle. Yeah. Yes. Shoot a uh, shoot a mm. flashlight at it in yeah, your palm. And how many days is that? That should be starting at four to five days. We should start oh, okay. to see like veiny, like a veiny oh, kind of lining on, okay. the, on the egg. So Which okay. is something we didn't see with Drake. Yeah, yeah, none yeah, of that. Nothing. Yeah. Right. That well, lying liar. We will uh keep you updated here on the second round of uh Science with Sea Bass. Let's get chicks. Mm-hmm.